Hello guys, welcome back to Patronet Mujer. I'll be sharing with you a tutorial how to make this dress and you can find this pattern on the magazine Patrones Infantiles number 70. Having said that, let's get started. We'll take pen and paper to write down the materials. Once we have the patent dress in front of the magazine, we cut along the sand line that will make these are finished patterns, which means they have one centimeter seam, hems and cut with notches and grey lines. Okay, let's check the pieces. These are the pieces from the skirt. We overlock the sides. This is a piece of the back. We overlock the sides and the shoulders. These are the pieces from the front. We overlock the shoulders and the center front and we place flexible tape around of the neckline. These are the sleeves and the cuffs. We fuse them, we press in half and we overlock the sides of the sleeves. This is the collar. We fuse the collar and this is the bias we press in half and the ruffle piece which is going around of the color and we press in half this is these are the pockets we overlock the sides and the mold of the pocket and we press with the arrow and the lining of the front and back we're going to start with the ruffle piece so we're going to fold in half and gather the piece Pass a stitch along of the piece and parallel to the first one, we pass another one and then we have to pull the three from the spool for get the get. Place the ruffle piece around of the collar you have to place on the edge and facing up and pin it around of the collar then we're going to place on top the other piece of the collar we're going to face the right on the machine, we have to pass a stitch on the ruffle piece. You have to press with the fingers. And remember to facing up the gather because we don't want to get the foot entangled. Place on top the other piece of the collar and sew them around. Cut the excess of the fabric around of the collar and you have to snip the curves.
turn the color and press with air. Face the right of the front and back and we're going to close on the shoulders. And after that, we're going to place the color around of the neckline. So you have to match the center back and the notches. Face the right and sew them on the shoulders. Place the collar and pass a stitch all around of the neckline. To continue with the lining, we're going to face the right of the lining and we're going to close on the sides and the shoulders. Face the right and sew on the sides and the shoulders. Then we have to open the seams and press with the air. We're going to face the backs of the lining and the main fabric. We're going to match the shoulders and the center back. And we're going to pin it. Then we're going to place the bias around of the neckline. And we're going to pass a stitch on the bottom of the bottom tape of the front. We overlock the lining with the main fabric on the center back. And now we're going to pass a stitch around of the neckline for hold the lining with the main fabric. Remember to face the backs of the fabrics, the lining and the main fabric. Pass a stitch all around of the handle and pass a stitch along on the waist. Fold the Button tape and face the right and place on top the bias and sew them all around on the neckline.
cut the excess of the fabric and snip the curve and now we fold the bias and we pass a stitch on the edge of the bias pull the corners and pass a stitch on the other edge of the bias for close the bias you have to pull the bias inside of the garment This is the button, so we have to pass a stitch for hold the button type of the front. We continue with the skirt and with the help of the pattern we're going to make a mark for positions the pockets. We're going to make the hem of the pocket and then we're going to place the pockets on the skirt. After that we're going to close the sides and then we're going to gather the skirt. We fold the hem of the pocket and we pass a stitch on it. Then we place the pocket on the mark and we pass a stitch all around of the pocket, except the mouth of the pocket. Face the rights and sew them on the sides. Now we have to gather the skirt, so we're going to pass a stitch along on the waist and parallel to the first one, we pass another one and then we pull the three front spool for get together. We're going to join the top part of the dress with the skirt, so we're going to match the center from the sides and the center back. Pin it. Face up the Gather and press with the fingers for past the stitch and match the sides, the center front and the center back and sew them all around on the waist. Then we have to overlock the seams.
we continue with the slip we're going to fold the pocket and we're going to pass a stitch on it then we're going to fold until the notch on the cuff we're going to pass a stitch on the fold and after that we're going to close the side of the slip so we're going to fold in half and face the reds then we'll continue with the cuff we're going to fold in half and we're going to close for the sides fold the placket and pass a stitch on it Fold the pluckets and pass a stitch, like uh, making a little dart. Fold from the notch to the notch and we're going to pass a stitch on the fold. And half the sleeve and sew them on the side. Pass a stitch on the head of the sleeve from the notch to the notch and continue with the cuff. We're going to fold in half and we're going to close on the side. You have to leave the centimeter without sewing. Cut the corners to their piece and press with the air. Place the cuff and sew them all around of the cuff. You have to match the sides. Cut the excess of the fabric around of the cuff. And now we turn the Cuff and we'll place the centimeter inside and we're going to pass a stitch all around on the cuff. The other sleeve is the same as we made for this one. We're going to place the sleeve, we're going to match the shoulder, the notches and the side. So from the side and continue to all around, then we have to overlock the seams. And the other sleeve is the same as we need for this one. Then we're going to overlock the visible tape with the hem and after that we're going to press with the arrow. And we have finished our dress. We place the buttons on the center front and we made the button hole and we press with the arrow on the hem. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. You can find this pattern on the magazine Patrones Infantiles number 17. And the links are below. We'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.